Hey guys, um, quick update, F14, stab servos. So I originally had some uh, Pro Modeler 355 minis on there, and I had some play in there. So I decided, you know, obviously I had to change them. So John sent me some different servos to try, and I set them aside because I had sort of decided I wanted to put a standard size servo in there. So I had some of these which I had put in the F-15, you know, two months ago. Know nothing about these servos. I've never used them before. They work great in the 15. You know, I took it to Jet Jam. I flew it, I don't know, half a dozen times, I guess. Nothing crazy, just sort of flying around, but it tracked perfect, like you would expect. Um, didn't ever feel any, any kind of um, strange moments like I was starting to feel at the end of last year where I think the stabs were starting to move when I wasn't telling them to. So, anyways, um, I like these servos. <clears throat> they're nice and tight, but they're not high voltage. So I got some of these. Uh, supposed to be the same servo, high voltage, yada yada. The problem is they're really powerful. So the steps in the servo, you know, when you move the stick, you're you're going in increments. It goes tink, 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 tink. And the servo is so strong. The steps are so strong. I wouldn't call it a smooth servo at all. Um, and these are balanced. They're very lightweight. And they're on ball bearings. There's two formers in here. Ball bearings in the middle. And then on the front former is where the servo is mounted. And it just has a short... Um, I think I, I don't know if it's tire stainless rod on it. So it's really tight. But the problem is, you know, the fuse itself is not heavy. It's got flex in it. Um, so basically what was happening is I was getting some bounce. So when I would get the, when the servos would step, they would go like this. And you would actually get bounce in the, in the servo, in the stab. It was kind of weird. So I needed a smoother servo. So I ended up calling high tech to you know, ask about this. And they said that these could be run on a 2S LiPo, no problem. So that's what I did. And they were okay. Um, I wanted to put it behind me. But it just kept sort of, it just didn't sit right. So they would sit here, like right now it's plugged in. You don't hear anything. And they would sit here and they go like, e -e 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 -e, which is fine. Except when I would deflect the servo, uh, uh, deflect the sticks and I would push on it, it would do the same thing. So now, with an air load on it, it's twitching. And I'm like, that's really not great. Especially if I got a gyro turned on, which there is. Um, it could actually start fighting itself and, you know, you could get some sort of weird excitement going on and lose a plane. So I didn't want to do that. Um... Long introduction. So but tonight, I basically threw all the servos I had in the shop at it. Uh, let's see. Savox, MKS, JR, uh, several high techs, and they're all okay. The winner here is a Mini. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the replacement that John sent me from, from Pro Modeler. So the one on the left right now is the Savox. It's actually uh, one of the Savoxes that came out of the F-18. And I went through about five of these things to find two good ones that didn't have any backlash. And when I say no backlash, they have backlash, but very minimal. All the others are crazy sloppy. Um, anyways, so I put, that's what's in the right side right now. And if you see it, it's got kind of a, a jitter at the end of the travel. I don't know if you can see it. It picks up on the phone. This one? Oops, that was me. That was a stick. Is really nice. That is this little guy. So I said I like the Pro Model servos. Um, and this is brand new. It's on their website now, but he sent it to me before it went up on their website. And they are amazing. I mean, they are amazing. This is, uh, 
by far. So you don't even hear it, right? This is a Sava. I can see the plate too. It's, it's, Dan, it's a badass servo. So, uh, had to put that out there because I, I put out that the 355 was not great and I was doing that, uh, well, one, it was just part of a build thread, but the other videos were actually for John. So, but I did put them out there. So now I'm putting this out there. Uh, hopefully this is it. I'm going to, I'm going to actually think I'm going to try the, uh, uh, they've got a 600 and something. Corset, Corsair Nut says he uses them on his T38 and he loves them. And it's a full size. I, uh, like I said, I refit the back of the plane to take full size servos with those aluminum, uh, Seacraft mounts, the little red mounts. So they just like screw into the side. So now I can change the servos back there, take the thrust tube out and four screws, one bolt on the bell crank, out it comes. Um, before it was, it was a freaking nightmare because you had to like, you know, work blind with a mirror to get it up in there. And then the screws went up through holes in the belly and it was too much. I didn't want to put hatches all over it. So it was too much. So this is much easier. So I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to get some of the 630s. I think they are. And if they're as tight as these, I'll use those. And if they're not, I'm just going to make some mounts and stick these in there because these are pretty freaking awesome anyways later